straight up right now, new Christians and old Christians. How do you hear that voice of God? God's voice is going to be different from yours. How, what do you mean, Neil? It can sound just like your voice, but the tone of his voice, the content of what he's talking about. You might say, oh, yeah, I want to put up this beat. God's like, no, I don't want you to put it up. Let's put it out the way it is. You're like, nah, you you go, you fighting with it because you're like, and your feelings like, nah, it sounds plain. It sounds whack. It sounds lame. He's like, I don't care. That's how I want it. You want to put a beat because you're trying to impress these people on here. But I don't want it with a beat on here. I want it plain. Do you understand? And this is where we start to have a hardened heart. This is where we start becoming rebellious. We, this is like we have that King Saul syndrome where we just be, we're hard of hearing. We hear what we want to hear, but we don't hear what God is telling us. And this is what causes God to stop talking to you guys. That's why a lot of you guys not hearing from God, because a lot of times your ego will talk in front of God. Your, your, your emotions are more louder than God. Your, your thoughts are more louder than God. So how could you really hear from God if you're always trying to be right? How could you hear from God if you're always trying to be, you, you care more about how you feel versus what, it's, what he's trying to tell you guys. And this is a training that I had to go through. And I'm saying the same thing to you Christians. When you start walking with God, you got to start training your senses. To go against the grain. What do I mean? You got five senses. Your sight, your hearing, your, your taste, your smell. These are all things that could be manipulated by the, by the matrix. These are, these are things that could be manipulated by the enemy. Right? Because it says the God of this world who is Satan blinds the minds of the unbelievers. The mind that you have before you got saved is the carnal mind. The carnal mind is hardwired to this world. It's hardwired to this third dimension. The spiritual mind, which is Christ, when you're born again, you get a mind like Christ. And this is why Christ said you have to be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Why did God say you have to renew your mind? Because your mind is in sin. So you have to, re, you have to re-educate yourself in the things of God. You have to renew your mind in the things of the spirit. So when God is talking to you now, you got to understand that God is going to come, come in a different way than you're used to. If you're used to certain voices in your head that's telling you, oh, let's go to the party. Go chill with that person. Oh, just hit this person up. God is going to tell you the total opposite. So that's a clue and a hint for you guys who are new Christians. God is going to start going against what you want to do.